Hey guys, what is going on? It's your good buddy Sam, and this is day two of the 30-day sprint to learn Unity by making an audio reactive game. So let me show you uh, all the sweet progress that I made today. Wait for it. Yeah, there's that falling pixel disco rain. So you can hear the sequence going. You can see that the what is it, the blue squares are jumping every time there's a hi-hat. Uh, the purple squares are moving when there's the snare, and the green dots are moving on the kick. So this is the game so far. It's just, uh, you know, I don't even know what you would call this. Um, flag of the Nation of Toothpaste flying through this cool, um, incredibly boring disco dimension. So anyway, um, what uh, the way I did that, I basically spent the whole day trying to figure out how to actually do... So in Unity, it seems... Um, when it comes to sound, it seems like if you want to play music in the background, that's easy. If you want to have something happen in your game and have that trigger a sound effect, that's easy. But if you want to have something happen in the sound and have that trigger something in the game, uh, doesn't seem like there's a particularly good solution for that. And if you do have a general solution, please, please, please let me know because I'm struggling to find something that works. I saw an example of somebody using uh, he's able to get the uh, audio levels and use that to trigger stuff. And I saw somebody else who wrote a Unity plugin that will scan a MIDI file for you, but um, nothing super great. So I just wanted to see how basically to do it today. So what I actually did was make a, um, I made a step sequencer in Unity. Um, so I did the, the Unity audio stuff. You have an audio listener and an audio source attached to the camera. And then this uh, simple sequencer, this step sequencer, it's pretty cool. So if you look at the, I don't know, it's it's dumb, but it's it's kind of cool that you can make a JavaScript file that contains arrays of booleans. And then um, back in Unity, if you actually run this thing, you know, you can, uh, let's see if we can do it. Like I can come in here and here's my hi-hat sequence in, you know, in uh, tick boxes. So I can like, uh, and you can see the, the blue squares are actually reacting to this sequence. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's not cool that if you change the size of the sequence, you can cause a runtime error and crash the game. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, point being, uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. So that's what the sequencer does is um, it triggers these sound events, but it also does this thing here. This is actually the, the important step in my learning today. Um, I created this trigger listener component and attach that to anything that I want to be audio reactive. And then the sequencer, when it triggers a sound, it also finds all the components that are called trigger listeners and tells them to trigger. And then uh, this will do something, in this case, just make the squares flicker. So I don't know, it's you know it's fine for now, uh, just for the stupid example, but obviously I'm not going to, it would be well beyond my programming and composing ability to compose music in a JavaScript file in Unity. So I'm going to figure out some way to, I don't know, maybe make a MIDI track that you can export next to your audio so that that can trigger events or something. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll look at that tomorrow. Uh, in any case, that's, you know, that's today's progress. Um, I'm pretty pleased and um, yeah, uh, tune in tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be much, much more to see than just this. Although you gotta admit, this is pretty satisfying. Uh, take it easy guys, I'll see you tomorrow.